और वॉट नेक्स्ट इन मार्केट हाय आई एम सी ए रुद्रमूर्ति ऑथर ट्रेडर एंड ट्रेनर वेलकम्स यू टू दिस वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ वॉट नेक्स्ट टू लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टर्स इन मार्केट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस सी हाउ निफ्टी एंड सेंसेक्स हैज ट्रेडेड फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म इन्वेस्टर्स यस फ्रॉम लेवल्स क्लोजर टू 7500 market moved on nifty levels to 18600 from where the correction has set in yes many are now talking about recession people are talking about bear market and yes people are heavily talking about inflation and interest rate and beyond all this the biggest difficult and most headed point towards market making a down move is the rising crude oil prices yes brent crude on an average is right now at around 120 to 125 dollar per barrel and if you see in the finance budget when nirmala sitaraman our finance minister spoke she has made an estimate that throughout the year crude will be on an average ranging anywhere between 70 to 75 dollar per barrel and now the reality is nowhere close to 70 to 75 dollar per barrel but it is 120 to 125 dollar per barrel now the big question even if crude comes and settles somewhere closer to 100 to 110 dollar per barrel still compared to the estimates of 70 to 75 dollar per barrel what nirmala sitaraman made in our finance budget still we are very far away now we have already seen rbi rising interest rate by 50 basis point and fed rising interest rate by 75 basis point and not only indian central bank and us central bank has raised the interest rate many more central banks across the world have taken the same stance now the big question is the inflation speaking enough are the central banks taking enough measures to curtail inflation and more so is the central government supporting the curtailing of inflation and also ensuring more money is left with people's hand because this is a supply side inflation which has to be curtailed and all these measures from central bank and measures from central government can it give the desired result now keeping all this macro aside let me make it too simple for all those people watching this video who have bought market and now you will say sir my stock is down 50% sir my stock is down 80% what should i do is this the time to sell it is this the time to average or is this the time to buy something else new watch this video till the end and i'll be making it very easy and simple to you point number 1 determine whether you are an investor or a trader yes for a trader stop loss is very very important if you lose more than 20 to 30% of your capital your first job is to get out of the position see where you are wrong not to repeat the mistakes what you have done before and for a trader risk management is everything however if you are an investor now the question is what next yes this video is dedicated to all these long term investors and let me make it very easy and simple to you it all depends upon what stock are you holding in your portfolio i'm sure you all know jassi livermore the richest man in the world during great depression of 1929 said beautifully he told buy right and sit tight he never said buy anything and sit tight so what most of the retail people do they buy anything and sit tight but you have to buy right and then only sit tight now the question is what is that buy right this is where your stock selection plays such an important role and let me tell you if you are in stocks like let us say idea where we have no idea on what to do you are in stocks like yes bank where i repeatedly said 
say no to yes bank you are in stocks like rbl bank which will be the next yes bank is what i commented if you are in stocks like zomato in fact i told in my twitter handle i am rudramurthy where i give live market update i said zomato will come to tomato price but the joke went on more furious and in fact what happened was tomato came to zomato price and zomato collapsed repeatedly at around 100 120 levels of zomato i was making this statement that zomato will come to tomato price but tomato from 20 rupees went to 100 120 rupee which is zomato price and zomato other way around collapsed to levels closer to 50 60 rupees so also i tell repeatedly if you are in stocks like paytm you have to keep paying m to m so also you have to avoid these types of junks in your portfolio now the question is sir i have already bought them what to do exit at the earliest time possible and shift to right stocks that is where buy right and sit tight makes lot of sense yes these are times when you have to move from low quality stocks to high quality stocks these are times when you have to move from low and let us say junk stocks to blue chip shares these are times where you have to shift from small and mid cap to large cap these are times where you have to shift from where you have low value high debt to where you have higher valuation in terms of comfort in terms of margin of safety and you have to move for safer stocks now people ask what sectors can do good in the coming days yes for me telecom for me automobile for me even stocks from fmcg selectively will do very very good in coming days and let me make a very serious point to you all people are now talking whether nifty can come to 14800 14300 or some of them are talking even below 14000 level some of them are talking 12000 10000 some of them are saying why not back to 7500 and now all comparisons are coming seeing 2008 how was market what was the pe ratio what was the technical chart and see now how is market and similar thing can now come all this is there making noise in the market but let me make it very easy and simple to you today even if market comes to those levels of 14300 which most of them are feeling it might come as an investor let me tell you currently we are at 15300 from here 14000 or 14300 is another 1000 point to 1300 point in percentage terms it is another 7 to 8% fall no one can catch the market bottom nor the market top exactly but if you are very close to that bottom which is about 7 8% no need to wait till the bottom comes but you can't buy anything you have to buy the right stocks so this is where i say stocks like reliance industry bharti airtel stocks like even from fmcg dabur hindustan unilever itc and even if you look at automobile stocks like maruti tata motor hero honda and these are all a list of stocks from high quality great management and where you see margin of safety and value and you can keep investing in them and let me always tell you in highly volatile markets always i say systematic investment plans your monthly sips will be very very good in fact this is rudra statement sip is always a very beautiful technique for highly volatile market and not lump sum investment so these are times when you have to keep making your sips let market fall another 7% to 10% from now no problem keep buying these type of quality stocks but do avoid averaging or even holding stocks like your yes bank rbl bank zomato 
Paytm, Tomato and these category of stocks and I can keep naming some more of them. Wealth is never created by these stocks. They are always destroyed by these stocks. This is where you have to understand making money is easy provided you learn and understand. And I'm sure this video has helped a lot of long term investors to understand that it is not buy anything and sit tight. It is buy right and sit tight. I'm sure so much of content I've given to you in this video, which you will forward to a lot of your friends who are worried on what next in market. And I've also suggested some stocks to you where you can start building your portfolio, but still mid and small cap also looks very attractive. But you have to be very clear in the stock selection process there. And a lot of mid and small cap stocks are available at mouth watering price. One thing I know, I may not know where the bottom is, but I know next one to two years, if you buy quality stocks now, you will make tons of money. Also last a disclaimer, I am a chartered accountant qualified plus I have 19 years of experience and still going on in market and let me tell you you have to consult your financial advisor before taking your decision I have given all the stock names also for which you have to understand the risk lies in your end before you take these positions do consult your financial advisor for the same and I am sure this video has added lot of value and content to you and I will come with more and more videos like this. Do write your comments below and even if you have any questions, any queries from your end and any topics on which you want me to cover future videos, I want you to write that right now in the comment section below and I want you all to support and join hands with me by forwarding this video. You are also part of spreading the right financial literacy among people like you who are watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Signing off, Rudra Murthy.